two households of the Minister for Sanitation and Water Resources, Cecilia Abnadapa, are currently facing trial at the court for allegedly stealing one million dollars, three hundred thousand euros, and millions of Ghana cities at her residence at Abilengpe in Accra. Reacting to this, some members of Parliament from the Minority Caucus say President Ekufuado must take immediate steps to dismiss the minister over such an unlawful conduct while an investigation is instituted into the matter. Definitely it is out of place for a minister of state to keep such huge sums of money in her house. This is an educated person and should know that monies are not kept under your pillow and that monies are kept with a bank. But because, of course, uh, the money perhaps might have been stolen, okay, she's finding a way of hiding it, if you ask me. If not, why would I go and keep these huge sums of money under my pillow? And so clearly it tells you that the corruption that we're talking about is manifesting. Some of the ministers have stolen to the extent that they can no longer keep the money in the bank. And so they go and keep it in their rooms. And of course, the poor uh, house help, who sees the money come in day in, day out, will not leave it. Today, we have somebody who had the courage to go and report to the police that she has this money kept there and that the house help and other people allegedly have stolen the money. And the minister is still there. I expect, first and foremost, the president to sack her. And once she's sacked, she can now be investigated. Every minister has a right to own assets. It is a right for every minister to have to own assets. Of course, that assets owned by the minister must be done on the back of legitimacy. So um, I know the minister very well. He, she, she appears very gentle by the face. And I least expect that such an allegations will arise from her source. If you look at the current economic situation, you realize that we are struggling as a country. And it will be shocking if we, at the end of the day, establish that such amount of money was kept in the house of the minister. First of all, you realize that it is illegal to keep certain quantum of funds at home, particularly foreign. So an amount to the tune of millions will be shocking to the bone. And I will appeal to the stakeholders who matter to investigate the matter. I think it is important that the minister, as a matter of agency, relinquish her position as the minister. Because the reason being that it may, it may interfere with the investigation processes. So the temptation to interfere, interrupt with the prosecution processes will definitely demand that the minister clears the way. And that will simply mean that she should do the ultimate thing by resigning. Addressing the media, the deputy minority leader Emmanuel Amakofibua says comments made by the former Northern Regional Chairman of the New Patriotic Party, Bugri Nabu, justify the minority's call for a probe into the leaked tape which revealed plans by the government to remove from office the Inspector General of Police, Dr. George Ekufudampari, as part of effort to rig the upcoming general elections. Our uh, senior uh, Bugri Nabu basically cleared that doubt and basically confirmed that indeed that meeting took place and that that leak tape was authentic. Now, it's very, very clear. We also heard that uh, two of his secretaries, as the, the interview uh, told us, were picked up by the NIB. I think it's important that we revisit this matter this morning. One, we call on this parliament 
to basically continue that investigation, independent investigation. And so the speaker had directed that we uh, nominate members who have already done that. We believe that that committee must begin work as quickly as possible. It is also important that we know exactly what the police service is doing. We also must know what the interior ministry is doing. Now, we found out that two of the secretaries of uh, uh, Bugrin Abu was, were picked up yesterday. Now, it is important that this investigation is thorough. Reporting from Parliament, my name is Ni Ayukwe Okain, Fossity News.